Today's new video combines some of my very favorite things, travel, books, and amazing bakeries. Earlier this year, I got to go to Boston, so of course I tried to vlog all the fun spots we went. It was such a beautiful city to explore with all the historic buildings. There were so many hip, fun coffee shops and bakeries, and of course, bookstores. Probably my favorite place was the Brattle Bookshop, which was so cool. They have these amazing outdoor book stalls in an alleyway just next to the bookstore, and it was just so incredibly unique. I've never seen anything quite like that before. You guys know how much I love bookish travels and exploring bookstores in different cities. I did just create a new playlist with all of my different um, bookish travel videos, so I will make sure I link that up in the corner and in the description below. If you're not yet, I hope you'll subscribe down below and join the bookish kingdom. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's head to Boston. I see where we're headed. You brattle. These are what they use to cover up all of the um, bookshelves at night. I saw them taking them down this morning. <laughs> the insulted and injured. That sounds just like something Dostoevsky would write. Oh my gosh, Boswell, the ominous years. I am now is so good. I have that already though. Fortune of a lady. I just love all of these titles. Dark trees to the wind travel into yesterday. Well, this place is kind of fantastic, guys. I just love this setup. Apparently, the outside book stalls obviously aren't open in bad weather, so I'm glad I had a good morning. This is the site of the Boston Massacre. I like how there's this old building surrounded by new. We're gonna walk over to Funuel Hall. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Welcome to Funuel Hall, Quincy Marketplace. This is really pretty. There's like a south building here and a middle building and another matching building on the opposite side. It's just so, so pretty.
I kind of want all of these note cards. Look at this one. It's Emily Dickinson Lions, and then this Edward Gorey looks kind of fantastic. And then this one is like the book, but it's note cards. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at these literary tattoos. <laughs>